Hi there, this is Rita coming to you from N. Jefferson and I'm going to do a review on the Bonash Fusa powder. So this is a powder which is great for people to want to fuse items together as a quilter. I like to use 505, but I understand that there are people out there that are sensitive to the, the sprays. And so the Bonash Fusa powder is a great alternative for that. And I'm gonna show you how to use it. So it, not only is it great for basting quilts, but you can do it, all kinds of things with it. Here's the instruction booklet that comes with it. And it has a lot of info on here. So uh, you can use this for, as they're saying in here, you can baste zippers and quilts with it. You can apply some appliques or motives or some lace and ribbon. You can also use it for mending, even if you, um, there's just like a fray and there's like, it's not an actual hole, but you can use it to sort of mend it and put stuff, put it all back together, put the fibers all back together. So it comes with, it comes in this box here. This is the little jar that it, that comes with it. And it comes with two of these silicone sheets. And of course the instructions right here. So I'm going to show you how to do it. This is so fine. The powder in here is so fine that when I did a test pattern and I was going to, I was just going to use this flannel fabric on the back you know, like we would do with a quilting thing, quilting, quilting thing, quilting batting. And I poured it on here and it was so, you could, you couldn't even see it. So for camera use only, I'm going to show you on the right side because I want you to see what this powder looks like. So you would just punch in this little hole here and then just turn the knob, it's like a little salt shaker, right? So you just turn it around and this is, look at how fine this is. It is so fine, you can barely see it. So be careful when you're using it because you certainly don't wanna be ironing it onto some other surface that you don't want to have fused. So what I would do then is put it, use one of these silicone sheets, put it on here. We'll just make sure, blow anything off that wasn't supposed to be on there. We're gonna place this batting on here to fuse. Oops. And then you're gonna, oh, so the settings, the iron settings, uh, have it on hot, cotton, hot, 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 and no steam. So that's how you want to iron it. Just make sure your iron is hot enough. It right, it's regulated. Let it sit for a minute on the on the hot, and then just press it down. And you want to press it for some good time there, because you do want everything to fuse. Now, the heavier the fabric, the more you're going to want to use of this powder. The lighter the fabric, not so much. So if you're doing like a denim, you want to load that on there. But if you're doing like a light cotton, you don't need as much. So I'm just sitting here and I'm just pressing this down using just a little bit of force. I really just want it to get super hot to sort of melt it because it's, it's like a glue. So I'm just going to do that here. And I think that's pretty much done here. And then what you're supposed to do is just to leave it for about an hour. And then that's when it all becomes cool and everything's melted and it's fused all together. So through movie magic, I have one here. So this is the same thing I did as I took the, the red or the pink fabric to the batting. And I have to use a little bit of force to pull this. As you can see, and I, you can see the force that I'm using. And this has been, so if you're gonna use a quilt, use this for a quilt, you definitely will need a little bit more of this. And then we can uh, just make sure that you iron it. You need to be able to have your, your quilt on a big flat surface so that you can iron it. You're gonna spend some time doing that. So just be wary of that. And uh, this is, I think this was almost fused together, even though it's only been a few minutes while you've been watching here. Yeah, see, you can already see that it's starting to fuse. So it's, this stuff bonds really, really well. So again, just a little bit, if it's a lightweight fabric, 
If it's a heavier fabric like denim or twill, you definitely want to use a lot. So there you go. Don't forget to use the ironing, the, the silicone ironing sheet that comes with it because you wouldn't want it to fuse on whatever your, your surface is. Okay, so if you have any questions, do leave me a comment below and I'm happy to answer. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time.